All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about transformations of functions <clears throat> and specifically to piecewise function functions. So we're looking at the same kind of transformations that we had before. Move left, move right, move up, move down, vertically stretch, vertically compress, reflector across the x-axis, reflector across the y-axis, horizontally stretch, horizontally compressed, okay? So we're looking at transformations, but specifically with piecewise functions. So what happens on these is, this works with all functions, but we're gonna see them a little bit differently. And what I mean by that is, we're gonna have our rule as A, F, parentheses, which is in the form of F of X, one over B, again, parentheses, x minus h plus k. All right? All of the parts do the same thing that we've seen before. If we have an a value that is absolute value greater than 1, it's a vertical stretch by a factor of whatever the a is. And then if it's an absolute value of less than 1, it's going to be vertically compressed by a factor of whatever the A is. Remember that B is our horizontal. So again, absolute value of B is greater than one. That's a horizontal stretch by a factor of whatever B is. If it's absolute value of B is less than one, it's a horizontal compression by a factor of whatever B is. X is, or sorry, H is gonna move us to the left or to the right. So if H is positive, we're going to move to the right. If H is negative, we're going to move to the left. Remember that we're doing minus H. So if it says X minus 3, that's H value of 3, which means it moves to the right 3. And then K, when K is positive, it's going to go up. And when K is negative, it's going to go down. Okay? So that's what we're looking at on these ones, all right? So we're doing all of that, all of those pieces in there. And then the last thing that we need is um, if A is a negative value, <coughs> excuse me, if A is a negative value, we're going to reflect across the x-axis. And then if B is a negative value, we're going to reflect across the y-axis. Okay, so that's everything that's happening here. All right, so we're looking at all of these different portions and what they do to a piecewise function. So what, what it's doing is um, essentially the things that are happening vertically, which are right here and right here, happen to the Y's, happen to the rules. And then the things that are happening horizontally happen to the X. So what does that mean? Okay, so what that means is when I, when I look at a function rule or when I look at a rule that's telling me to do something, where do I need to translate it? How do I need to change it? So if it gives me something, um, if it gives me something like, I'm just gonna make up a rule. make this one greater than okay so I have this rule here I have this piecewise function that's telling me what's going on and then if they tell me to do something like what this means is I'm moving this entire graph three units to the right so if I'm using this moving this whole entire graph three units to the right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace my X in the function rule with X minus three 
And that doesn't just mean this, it also means my rule over here. So I'm gonna plug in x minus three wherever I have an x. So what does that do to my whole entire equation? Well, I'm going to simplify it. So I'm going to say this new rule equals, multiply this out, 3x minus 9 plus 1, which is 3x minus 8. If I want to get the x by itself, so I'm going to add the 3 over. So if x is less than or equal to 0, because if I add the 3 to the negative 3, it gives me 0. This one, it didn't change because I didn't have an x in there. If I'm going to add the 3 over and it's going to be 0 is less than x, and I'm going to add the 3 over here, which is going to give me less than or equal to 3. So I have to add the 3 as if this were two different functions or two different inequalities. So add the 3 and I get x is less than or equal to 3. Add the 3 and I get x is greater than 0. This one, I'm not going to expand it out. I'm actually just going to leave it the same. So I'm going to leave it as 2x minus 3 squared plus 3. And I could expand it out, but I don't want to spend the time. I'm going to add the 3 over. x is greater than 3. I'm going to do a couple more videos, but it messes up when I go over 7 minutes. So I'm going to do another one.